wonderful wizard of Oz. Becomes, 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 becomes. It is hot. What would you say? What's the temp? Ladies and gentlemen, we are here, and we are about to ferry the vehicles, one to take out, this one to take out, and we're not taking the boat out here at the put-in. So our hypothesis is we could probably shove it in the back there slightly, sideways, okay. or throw it on the top, yeah, it's not, top. throw it on top. Open top to a ranger and see if we could just tie it down by the launch ramp. But it is closed. Yeah. Indeed. So we're at the takeout and we're dropping off Alan's truck. I can hear the river. Down there is the Mexican hat takeout. But what is that? I spotted that from far away. What is that up there? Is that like a hanging ocean? What in the world? <laughs> so, about to camp and hit the river in the morning. It's like 6 a.m. 6.30, 7, who knows? We put the 200 pound boat up there. And now we're gonna drive it to the river. And we're gonna show you how to load a boat. Well, we're at the ramp and the sun is coming up and it's crazy from the fires just glowing this magenta oh man now usually this ramp has got I mean it could have lines of people and you can see how many people are here <laughs> lines of people Alan we better hurry up all these people are gonna be pissed <laughs> So the water looks good. It's even a little higher than yesterday. All right, so it's just the beginning. We got to get the boat off, and then we'll film. Look at that sunrise. That's how it was going down last night. That's some drone footage right there, but too late. Kind of had to be. Don't stare in the sun, guys. Alright. <laughs> so, here's the gear. And this is just for a few days. We got the closed toilet system, dry ice, super cooler. 21 gallons of water and that's just the beginning of the rigging he's attaching the cooler you know all this equipment has got to be secured in a way that if the boat flips over none of it comes out Ready to flip, trust to swim. yeah additionally if you don't have the necessary list the officials will fine you heavily. <laughs> so you have to take all your crap out. And that's what goes in this giant ammo box. <laughs> all 
Call summer today, Alan. Yes. So, we'll come back to you when we get the full final pack. And the sun has just come up and it's now yellow, actually, and stopped being red. <laughs> well, I've secured Big Red. The entire boat's packed. And we are about to get on the river. The first day, today, it's about 7.30 a.m., we have five or six stops planned before noon, including cliff houses and petroglyphs, and it should just be absolutely fantastic. We take a look at my outfit. <laughs> Got my pelican headed to the office. There's our permit right in that box. You want to know what's in that box. I think it's, you go down to the right three, four miles, and then when you get to the big uh, petroglyph, you make it of east. Perfect. All right, we're headed out, gentlemen? Yes, we are. So there's the fully loaded boat. I'm setting up my... my Navigation. Alan's got the Navi. Right there. We're going to be front seat drivers. We see the, the uh, pooper is on top because no that's where you want it. <laughs> and we're headed out. Okay, me and uh, Ransom. We're going to see if we can push. Ransom just asked if we were leaking, and we are. It's a self bailer. And we just shoved off. There's the ramp, ladies and gentlemen. San Juan. Middle section. Sand Island to Mexican Hat has begun. The water temp is a balmy. Oh my god. It's, it's balmy. I want to say it's right around 74. But we will take thermos later. So our first stop is coming up. Is it petroglyphs or ruins? Petroglyphs. Petroglyphs first, one mile to the right. Oh, and I knew I forget this. Rapid. Show me the deep spot. There it is. Thank it's, you. Yeah, perfect. It's deep. It's right there. So the deer's <laughs> helping us navigate the first <laughs> riffle. That is awesome. That was awesome. Thank you, deer. I hear some more activity to the right. He's clearing the way for other other guys. We are approaching some of the fewest viewed petroglyphs on the planet. No, actually, the only way to view these, even at low water, is to boat by them. And we're going to be coming up on them and documenting them for you. 420 style. So, this is the first mile of the 27 miles that we're going to be doing. And the GPS is reading? 0.6, but we were off... Uh, 0 0.1, probably. Because <laughs> according to the map, this is 0 0.9. If we see some petroglyphs. Yeah. We should. You guys walked all the way down. Yeah. Well, around the corner. No, to there. No, 20 feet. There's nothing there. A lot of poop. <coughs> Some mud swallows. Well, we are at the petroglyph panel wall. And we're just waiting on a petroglyph. <coughs> huh. It says it's right. Oh, okay. It's around the corner. Right around the corner? I would say so because we look at that. 
It's right on the edge of the corner. Yeah, edge of the corner. Edge of the corner. Oh, beauty. It's got to be the best name for a bird. Swallow? Swallow. So your girlfriend can't get mad at you if you call her Swallow for a nickname. Tell her she's cute like a bird. <laughs> this is a children's show, Ransom. Oh, I'm sorry. Family friendly. I'm sorry. Okay, we're coming into some change in geology, looks like in about a mile or so, oh, which is kind of nice. And we haven't yet to see a petroglyph, and they would typically not be on this type of... Yeah. It says sad stone. So they might actually be. Uh, oh, you said from the river. Yeah, it says. From so the they're going to be in this cave right here. In my opinion. Alvin's adding a new level of cinematography here. He's tilting and I'm tilting. That is really cool. I can't even see the bird. She's fishing. She's fishing. Staring at the water there. Like a statue, man. Oh, oh did you get he, one? You got one. Hey, that's awesome. I think so. Everybody can check this one out. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Great blue. Dinosaur ate the baby. So this is the Navajo side, and we found the spirit cave. There's the mythological white cow. More of a beige. <laughs> <laughs> burnt umber is what we say down under. That cow is burnt umber. Ever wrestle with a wallaby in the winter? Or you just sit around tickling your roo? Oh, we are about to go under. This is heavy, man. Yeah. We're gonna go I in thought that we were going that way. Oh, we can, I'm not sure if we can go there. Let me look at the map. It says we shouldn't. <laughs> I want to go in there. <laughs> Sandbar? Yeah. Sandbar spinny. that green stuff on that wall over here. This is a good time to uh, we put, uh, up, follow the wall way up there. There's green stuff. Is that it's just a plant? Ivy or something. Plant coming out of the wall? Yeah. Yeah. A ivy. Wouldn't it be cool? I can go floating in that. According to this, it says no. Thanksgiving soon. Right. I was looking for the mail. Avalanche. What the hell? Oh, yeah. The damn turkeys are causing a miniature avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey avalanche. Stampede. Look at, look at that silhouette. Yeah. Fucking dinosaurs all up and down this river. To the Navajo side, filled with turkeys. They may be safe. What were they doing? Moki steps. Collecting eggs. Oh, 
there's a way in too. Look at this. That's cool. Right there. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, what else would that be for? You collect eggs and... I don't know. Get up through the slot here. Yeah, there, there's... I bet there was a... That's an access to get up in there. Those you steps go right there the go to up. a spot. Right there. Right there. And I think there was a, maybe a structure there at one time. Beautiful. Smoky steps. Yeah, that doesn't seem like that far. Looking at it from the bank over here, even though it seemed like we went around there for a while because there's that square I was thinking about the drive in at. So, mile marker four, and we spotted this. And we are going up a very ancient trail, Moki style. To a pretty large rubbly ruin. So we're gonna try to get up in that shade. You can see that red spider or M-shaped glyph. Pretty big structure. It goes for 35 feet. And nice matates up here. The whole cliff edge. One, two, That's three. He's grinding. Five, yeah, grinding six. Food. Yeah. Grinding stones. Interesting chimney there. Chink work. This looks slightly restored, Alan. Yeah. And it looks like the restored stuff you saw. See this red mud? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's restored. So that's good. Tight grouping. Yeah, that's nice. Definitely some kind of a chimney. Just down there. And look at that circular cut down there. Yeah. Look at that. Is that for a post? I've never seen that. That circular. It looks Egyptian. Where's it at? We got some glyphs. Look at this hollow. Or you think the water just made that run through? Yeah. Yeah, that's eroding. All right, amazing. Let's go check out the glyphs. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another circle. So, yeah, this, this structure came all the way out here. Drop marks. Two huge postmarks and more matates. Two huge drop marks from water. Oh god. That's huge, literally two feet wide or bigger. Way up there. <laughs> it's 
sweet. It's getting warm. Yeah. So we're at mile four or five. We're just about a half a mile from Butler Wash panel entering Butler Wash area. And I saw this from a mile away. Yep. Parade instability. And there are huge glyphs all the way down this wall. So we're going to get to that in a minute, but we're going to go check out the main glyphs up at the point here while we're here. So that's just awesome. The trip has been awesome so far, and we've only just begun. It's not even 9 a.m. Ah, wow, wow, wow. So the petroglyphs are everywhere. It's overwhelming. It's also difficult to maneuver in the desert with your aqua socks. But I don't even know where to begin here. This panel is a thousand feet long. <laughs> and there's so much older glyphs on it. <laughs> there's just nowhere to begin. So let's start with the, the newer stuff. The beauty of these remote places is there's not a lot of graffiti artists that come back here. And then you can see the archaic underlayers. See that there? The dark ones? Yep. Yeah, the ones really carved in. And actually there's some uh, over there, look. To your left and up, there's like a squatter man and two infinities. Yeah, look at all that older stuff over there. Yeah, one of those centipedes is on that thing over there too. And uh, I believe that is a turtle right there. Holy tamale. <laughs> Nice Thunderbird over here. See what I'm looking at in this. Big ass thunderbird. My goodness. It's just way up there. Or maybe it's just a fantastic. washed out up here. <laughs> Jacob's Ladder region. Yeah. Goodness, and this isn't even the main butler wash panel. Yeah, that is a nice plasma discharge up there. I hope you guys can see that. Oh 
That is fantastic. We got turkey, turkey pants. Look at that. That's just the whole story up there. He's holding something with the, his fingers are dots. Yeah. With a little guy on his shoulder. Yeah. And then 25 feet above him. This guy looks like Beck, man. You see? Some more ancient weathered stuff here, yeah. including the people holding hands. I see them. The whole row of them. Yeah. Everything is pointy here. Yeah. Look at the cocapelli up high. Oh, I see them. Oh, well, that's a beautiful one. And then there's, look at that creature to the left of them. Yeah, that's the spider clan or whatever the thing we saw, maybe. Right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, On top of this boulder. Two cocopellies, one below. Yep, I see it. He's like he's floating down. Yeah. Endless. You could be here forever studying this. There's more glyphs down at this level. There's buried glyphs. Oh my gosh. That are all the way underground. Yep, back in there too. Yeah, this is the trip. It is underground. <laughs> That's amazing. What's this right here? This looks like a drill mark almost. Amazing duck head. Yes, he Yeah, that's amazing. We've been following that. And then this guy with this guy on his shoulder. Right. Everything in between. And then these it, scours. Definitely a ceremonial. You come and you rub your stone in here. For a purpose. They're not grinding <laughs> seeds in there sideways. That ain't happening. like a monkey on top of a plasma feature there. And then some of these parat ladders. So let's get three or four of them going. You got a song. We're here at the opening of Butler Wash. Very deadly area. <laughs> um, some vandalism from the 1880s. There's an 1887. Seems to be when a lot of exploring was being done out here. Oh, look at these rats. So because of the nature of how young these look, and I, I gotta say that this plasma discharge occurred recently this is really deep deep too yeah that could but that's still less than a thousand years old maybe 800 years old and look at this guy yeah I was thinking that that uh, rock formation next to those was the ladder thing from back there but it's not it's just in the rock and right there too it looks like it Snake, who knows? And then that archaic one there. And then that clearly parade up there. Yeah. This tree has been was here when the natives were thick. Look at this. 
Can someone stand in there and give us a scale of this crazy tree? This is right in the middle of Butler Wash. So the San Juan River has never taken this out. This is like a root underground now. <laughs> and in the middle of the desert. It's probably the biggest tree in the desert. Sweet. So we're at mile four and a half. We just got done looking at all the petroglyphs here. Uh, on the east side of Butler Wash, then we went into it and we we're looking at the Parade Instability just a minute ago on the east facing wall of the wash. Now we're going to come down the cliff here and actually look at the Butler Wash panel, which is supposedly over here. And it's approaching a hundred. But I got the wet on, so it feels like cool air conditioning. Definitely a plus to have hoods and, and a little water. And a little water. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Perfect. That's uh, yeah. cool off. Isn't it crazy? You can be cool when it's a hundred out. <laughs> We haven't even entered the pocket canyon, the notch canyon, the box canyon part. That's another five miles. And we won't get there till tomorrow, early in the morning when we depart. But we still have more petroglyphs and ruins to go today. So we just saw that duckhead uh, petroglyph back there, Alan. Tell us about what you know about the Grand Canyon and archaeological sites. Well, I don't know a whole lot. I just know that, uh, that uh, a lot of stuff is blocked off. And uh, hiking in. Yeah, the there were lots of reports of uh, Egyptian artifacts being found in caves. Back in the early 1900s. Yeah, Smithsonian got involved and then it was all over. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Those pricks. So where we are is that Butler panel. It is the full length of this cliff. That's amazing. Oh, um, so it literally these there are petroglyphs of from thousands of years different ages and we're about to go up there after we take a quick shade break here and I can show you <coughs> little teaser It's a clock on his head. Some weird stuff going on up there. And that's just the tippy touch of Butler wash panel. Look at all those plasma features up left. Yep. Oh my goodness. Look at all of them. Oh, no. They're all faded away, but. But they're amazing. There's so much up there. Spiral? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. I'm gonna go get my other camera. 
It's probably still getting it though. No kidding. Some archaic below, some more modern Puebloan. And it goes down into the wall too. <laughs> We're not even in the deep canyon yet, but the views so far spectacular. And the horse, well endowed. Oh my goodness. Whoever did that was definitely a hawker. Right next to some really ancient thousand year old archaic glyphs. Right over it. Yeah. Right over them. Lots of spirals and archaic you know, parad instabilities. And then up here, some real ancient stuff that goes way high. And this huge column coming up over here. It's just amazing. Yeah, these are some older ones. Some spirals. There's a spiral in here. And then these hash marks must mean something because this is a repeated pattern here. The big foot is nice. And it's next to a rub mark. Yes it is. All these archaic glyphs are super high, 20 yeah. foot up. Giant anthropomorphs. Wow. So these are way up here. Huge anthropomorphs, way up high. Thunderbird. And then this looks like the procession panel, these dots. Yep. It goes all the way down. Look at all the stuff inside there. There's so many glyphs here, very old. And there was actually another wall in front of that. Yeah, it fell down a lot of these pieces. More wows.
up another one over top of another one. Yeah. Just layers upon layers. Lots of ancient, archaic stuff that is very hidden, like this spiral here. Yeah, some really old stuff off in here. Big anthromorphs, ancient. Yeah. And these are relatively looking as creepy as the barrier style, which can be as old as 8,000 or 9,000 years old. And those pock marks in there, yeah. These are archaic. And then we have another plasma discharge. Archaic. Oh my god, the whole wall. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, this thing could have been higher too. Sure. Really working on getting the right perspective here to show all this. So I'm right around the corner from Butler Wash Panel in the shade and there's these groove marks right at the turkey print, which is where they did their prayer, their chanting here. Maybe when they arrived or when they left. Yeah, so there's these wear marks up here, way up high, 30 feet up, like long ones from scraping, and then this weird field of round ones. 
Then some more long ones, just like I just showed you. This is up on the side of a cliff, 30, 40 feet up, off the ground. They must have had a platform, because that's also up here. So they're, they're, or levitating. That's just bizarre right there. Bizarre, but amazing and fantastic as well. So this is a flint napping area near Butler Wash. And I don't think you can understand the scale unless I show you. This mound here, this whole hill is flint napping. It's about five feet high and it's nothing but raw material where hundreds of people were here napping, making tools. And this is the debris pile of the raw material and it is just mind boggling. There must have been hundreds or thousands of people here over thousands of years building up this flint nap pile which is now I'm four or five feet up on see some of the failed designs some people have piled up pottery and some of the shards here amazing Probably remnants of a building. All right, it's like the Serengeti. Uh, we got some fresh radishes. I just took off the dry ice. They are cold. It's crazy. And I'll we are, them. huh? I'll hold them. Get us that one. And we're headed across there to uh, one of the most famous ruins. And I think you can see some ruins in there. Yeah, so we're going right over in there. Be right back. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Booyah. There's still, still mud there. This is River House. Oh, look, at those look at the petroglyphs up top. Right inside. Amazing. A lot of fire and smoke. I mean, not fire, but smoke. A lot of smoke. Fantastic. Just look at this. Multi stories built on these fallen blocks little side granary area amazing petroglyphs inside the structure and look at this Stairway to heaven. Massive complex.
Hvad? Ja. Fantastisk. It's nice and cool in here. It's crazy. There's still a wood lentil here, Alan. Yes. On this side in the doorway. Right. When you get over here, you see all the. And you can see a lot of fire up here. So they're cooking and burning in here. Let's see if we can go in there. Just try not to touch anything here. And be very careful then not to touch. Coming. Round. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a, another glyph in the back wall here. On red. Could be a thunderbird. And look at this micro chinking. This has been fixed, so I don't know if this is the fix work. Original, but it is a, some amazing. Look at that. And there's even grinding work here on this sill. As if it was yesterday. They did it right at, at the window. Clay on the walls still. <laughs> Thank God this is still preserved. And look at these glyphs over here. How beautiful. Couldn't really see them until you got over here. Yeah. Can't see them until you get in. Look how cool and dark it is in here. Yeah. Hi. So that's the god like Quetzalcoatl, that serpent. This one's still cool. Totally, completely enclosed. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. And I don't think this is a circle. This is shaped like, it's, this has a shape, Alan. Right. You see it like an upside down mushroom? Right. Same over here. I just noticed it. Like, they just got shapes. Yeah, they're specific shapes. Yeah. Yeah, with it? clay. Yeah. Original that. lentil, and you can see a little mm -hmm. fix above. Yeah. This is fantastic. And then you can see the multi layers of clay work and that they were doing year after year. You repaint the wall, you reclay it. You got red and tan. <clears throat> a little base in here. Maybe for a side fire, that's why it's the darkest. Right. And they got shelves, shelvings. Shelves? Shelves. Little rocks sticking out for shelves. <laughs> Really big sunflower seeds in here. Did you see that? Yeah, look how tall it is. It goes all the way up. With some moki steps in the back. Oh, cool. And then when you get over here, I'll ask you a question. Right Inside there, there's nothing. But there's this down here. This big lentil, that's for support. That's oh, archaeological. Architectural. 
Okay. Does it go in or around? No, it doesn't go inside there, but there's a hole in there. And so there's some Moki steps in the back so you can step up to the second floor here. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, look at this step in here. Mm -hmm. right there, just... Look at the shape of that. Oh, wow. And the original top lentil is only like a half an inch thick. Yeah. Look at that. It's not cracked. Oh, and you see it. Oh. Yeah, look at that. That was a little hidden gem in there. Yeah. Is that a lentil that fell? Wow. That's corn cobs. Oh, corn cobs. And that monkey step looks fresh as yesterday. Yeah. There's these grinding spots, right? Right, exactly. Their whole front windowsill. Yeah, this one is just sitting in here making tortillas, mm -hmm. looking out at the view. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I think so. But pretty much, right? This is amazing. It's beyond amazing. There's all these little portals and shafts and little secret craneries. Every one of the dots? No. <laughs> Mud wasps. Mud wasps. There's a, there is a spiral up there. Red. I see it. Oh my gosh, it's like three dimensional. It just popped in. It's like my yeah. visual. <laughs> it's with the generic pictographs that aren't real. Where? These white ones. That's not real. That's somebody came here. Because there's some in that room, too. No, the ones that are up top are painted. That's milkweed. Milkweed? Yeah. So that's real stuff? Yeah. It doesn't look like it's in there. Well, there's some drifts in there. It's the original wood. Amazing. For old archaic stuff here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It goes all the way underneath. Wow. Wow. It's all storage. Look at this. It looks storage yeah. bins in every nook and cranny. Yeah. This is amazing. Yes, we just found man-made water management here, right near Comb Ridge. This is to slow down the flash floods. Huge grooves in the bedrock. Thousand years old, so they could capture it down there, which where they were growing. So that's pretty fascinating. You know, being this is all the water coming right here. Slow it down. I don't see anything. No? This is the right area.
right above a cave. And I think there's going to be more. <coughs> Maybe. That's hard to hold. Yeah. Blazing. And that's, we're mile seven. And then we just saw some hands. Man, would you look at that jackass up there? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Definitely looking at us. Don't worry, Shrek will be back to get you, I, I'm sure. We are 9.5 miles down. Eighteen miles to go. And we're about to pull off at a camp as soon as we enter the canyon. So that's the plan. That's lower lower Chinle. Lower Chinle. Yep. Exactly. Smile, you're on candy camera. the star. Ladies and gentlemen, it's happened. We have passed the 10 mile mark and we are entering the canyon. Yes, we're going in. There's a sharp curve and we're going to be camping in the first curve of the canyon tonight at 10.3 mile camp. That's the plan if we make it. We'll probably make it. I hear a waterfall coming up. Maybe an eight footer. Oh, it's roaring. All in a day's work. Fantastic. Push that back underneath it. Okay, we're now entering the canyon. We just had a little rapid behind us. It was a little fun. Alan looks exhausted. Oh, there he is. He's smiling. It's beautiful down here. And we're about to turn into the final 17 miles all canyon and then pop out at Mexican Hat and look at what's coming ahead. It is going to get steeper and steeper as we go. Yeah. And shallower. Shallower. Do you feel like Lewis and Clark right now? That's kind of the feeling I get. Yeah. When you're going down in here. This really doesn't do it justice. But just the scale of it all. And no way out for 17 miles at this point. Therein lies the problem. Now most rivers, that's pretty normal. I'm used to 15 to 22 miles per section, no way out. So that's a pretty normal norm. In this case, it's pretty grandiose though with these cliffs. rock gardens. It's narrowing up so it should be deeper now. That's pretty good, don't you think? Yep, it's deeper right where I am. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's three feet. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that's those kinds. Uh, Horse flies. Horse flies. Or a deer fly. Whatever they are, they're little pigs. You can't tell they're on yet until they bite. So, we're coming in through the first goose neck. And that is just a river that turns directly around and goes the other way from where we just came. So we came in and then we're just going to turn back around and go this way. Little shelf. Nice. Ten point four. And then so it gets yeah, another gooseneck. We're in search of shade currently. So we just did four foot rapid. We're at the twelve point five mile mark and we are camping at 13 midway with a downstream wind yeah. so we'll be almost halfway there A deer in a ruin. Oh dear. Oh dear. So we made it 14 miles in a little bit. The sun is setting. We did have a tent set up, but we're breaking it down because the sun is set and we're leaving in the morning. And Ransom is launching a drone. So we really did a lot of river today and we're going to try to finish it up tomorrow 27 miles two days alien allen style actually allen's bummed because we're doing it so quick <laughs> this is a solar biolite on our water jug, and it is fantastic. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 